three, two, we're live. Hey, how's everybody doing tonight, man? How's it going? Victor, Lori, Chris, Brandon Goggle, Tub Hill. Yeah, and I saw that. I saw it was like an old fashioned um, stuffed chair, man. I should have said something in the in the live stream. <laughs> oh, Terry Tug, how you doing, man? Man, it's just been windy. It's been windy all week. It was windy today. Heck, I thought I was going to get. I went out, Jim. How, how you doing? I went out and mowed today, and I thought I was going to get blown out of the lawnmower. <laughs> had my hat, had a little drawstring tied up around my head, and it and it got cold. It was like seventy three, and then the it just I don't know. Temperature drop, probably dropped down to sixty eight. So, you know, that's why I got the sweatshirt on. You know, that's another cold front. I think it's supposed to get down to fifties tonight. But I don't know. We'll see. But um, yeah, and tomorrow or tomorrow's Friday. I keep thinking tomorrow is Saturday. But see, I know Saturday we got to go out to the field and we're gonna we're gonna do some work. We're gonna do some work. We've got a uh, shed, new shed that we got to put up for the lawnmower. Hey, Lyndon, how you doing, buddy? I don't have any of your videos tonight. You had some. Nice videos up, some um, boat videos. Donnie, how you doing, man? It's good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. People have been asking about you, man. I, you know, but we missed you. Everybody's missed you, man. Randy, how you doing, man? Chris, man, this thing, this thing, I don't know. I mean, uh, UMX for sale jet. I mean, oh, it's blurry. Okay, that's because I had my head uh, hand up there. We'll get it to focus on the spike the likes. Yeah, I'm in the dark. I have a I have a real low light bulb here. I look best when it's blurry. Yep, I like it blurry. But I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know what to think about it. I mean, I'm sure it flies great and everything, but I don't. To me, an idea of a UMX. Hey, Eric, how you doing, man? Eric posted a video up. He's got a new quad. He's he's dialing in, but it's just small and fast. You know, I don't. You know, to me, a UMX is something you could. You know, if you want to fly it in your yard, you could. But um, I don't know. It's just I like it, but. I don't know. There's just something about it I just don't. I mean, for $159 for a couple of bucks more, you can get the Arrows F86. What happened, Travis? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I wasn't thinking of getting it. You know, don't get me wrong. And, you know, What's funny, what's funny is the, um, you know, the, the, the Sky Rid that I've been trying to, Sky ID that I've been trying to buy for since August. <laughs> I ordered it in January, and of course they're out of stock, and then they came in. And my order status said shipped, but then I never got it. And they said there was a problem with the credit card, but it's the same credit card I've bought in. I bought, I don't know, three planes, three planes and parts and batteries and, and stuff with. So I don't know, man. Yeah, Dave, order three, man. Hey, Dave, how you doing? I don't know. I don't, I just don't get it. I don't get it, you know, and I don't, I just don't get it. I mean, that's, that's all. I'm not going to say anything bad about it and stuff. It looks like a pretty nice a pretty nice um i'm sure it's a nice plane but we're starting out with emily she's over in the uk there she's just like a good good feeling type person she you know does rc stuff there's some rc stuff up there you see what she's best for though is nice 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 good sure good feel good videos and stuff and she takes pictures of stuff this is nature stuff here so 
there's a boat race. But you know, I mean, check Emily out. If you wanna you wanna feel good and start the day off right. She always has something uplifting. Yeah, Victor, I, I I don't know. I don't know I don't know what they're doing. Hey Paul, how you doing? I don't know exactly what the reasoning is. I don't know if they were hedging the bets. Um let's see where you at here. Yeah, right here. We'll show this. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, oh, yeah. Hey Musky Bob, we got your video, buddy. It looks like you guys had a good day, a good day out there flying. Flying off of that little that little pond that's out there by your you know that you guys go to and stuff, but let's let's go out here and check this out. This little beastie's not been on for a couple of months, I think. Scar, my ST model discovery. Why the name Scar? Let me see. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to increase my volume. I don't know if that's gonna mess things up. Pump it up just a little bit. Because I don't want anything hot, man. I'd rather have you. There's Scar. That's why it's a Scar. She did some scarring and some scrapping. Let's go out and watch her fly a little bit here. I skipped her intro. I'm sorry, Gina. It's the best oh. intro. <clears throat> right then. Here we go. I'll be curious to see what the runway, how that's going to be a nice runway. Nope, she's going to veer off <laughs> into the mud piles, which do seem to be a bit of a magnet at the moment. Up you go. We got Eric, Eric Rogers, Eric Quinn, the Eric's. There it goes, man. She has a lovely flight with that, a scar. I like her scar. The scar version, it's pretty nice. Then we got this Times Square full somewhere in Germ Germany, I think. This is in Germany. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna poo poo it if someone likes it. You know, if that's their thing. But he's got a blade blade two thirty S, and he's got the MD five hundred body on it. It's pretty cool, I think. I think it looks pretty neat. This looks like something Ian would have. Hope Ian and Cheryl are doing well. They probably the UK weather has just been horrific, man. It's been getting strong winds like us today, twenties. It's a beautiful country though. That's a great little flight. He doesn't really say anything. Oh, shoot, yes. <laughs> I but I use foam tack, foam tack and umpour and it dry it dries clear. I haven't really noticed the yellowing much. But Chris, he went live last uh, for the Friday feeling and stuff. I don't, I'm be kind of curious to see what he does this week. Well, last week he went live, and I should have it queued, queued up about where it so needs to be. all of bits and pieces. Hi, Philip. How are you doing? It's a random Friday feeling live. Yes. Um, as I say, I was working, and I couldn't do anything. Um, what are you doing this weekend? He goes, well, okay, a, we'll go into that in a minute, Caroline. And hello, by the way. Um, today was a bit uh, Hi, Mark Croucher. How are you doing, buddy? More people running in the room. Yes, we like this. Everyone come in the house, get cozy, get all your food and drinks together and everything else. And my glasses are filthy. I don't know why. I thought I cleaned them. Oh, I can't see. Um, <laughs> yes, I had to work today. It was a, I was on a call-out. We call a call-out. Dragged me away. So I didn't want to do what I did want to do. Anyway, he goes on, man. He has a guest. He has Cliff. Cliff comes in there, and there's Michael Rice there. And stuff. So he had a nice, nice uh, Friday feeling. It's pretty cool. And um, yeah, Cliff was showing planes and yep. 
Chris was building on stuff. So it was a good time, man. So just be watching out, watching out. Yes, I am, Terry. I, I haven't talked to him yet when he wants to do it. I hope it's not this Saturday because it it's going to take a long time for us to put that shed up because the, um, the tent thing we've got now is 12 by 10. The new one is 10 by 10. So that means we got to take the frame down and put the new frame up. And I'm telling you right now, everything is going to be perfect. Everything is going to be perfect. <laughs> the new frame is going to take it's going to take some time. <laughs> I love the guys, though. but you know they just don't they just don't put some they just don't throw stuff up to you know get it to where it's functional. It's got to be perfect and functional. And let's see, I've lost my note with I've lost my note for videos and stuff. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, there it is, right there. Yeah, I tidied up. Uh, no, I just pushed. There we go. I got it right here. All right. So I know Carolyn is all music care. So we got to. And you want to check Carolyn's out, man. She does. She belongs to a club uh, that flies quads, drones, drone meat. So they're, they're, there's where they're flying. That looks cool, man. I don't know if that's. Man, that thing had to do some broadcasting. That's a broadcast tower. And she has music. She has very good, very good music. Hey, Michael, how you doing, man? We just showed you uh, your chat on Dad's RCs. And it's kind of neat, man. It's cold. They got up early in the morning. And she kind of tells you and she has pop-ups. But one I wanted to show was... There they are, right there. Here we go. There you can see them all standing there, though. Well, that, that worked well. Let's see if we can back up. Here we go. Boom. There's everybody that they've got in this little, little quad club. That's pretty impressive, man, that they go out different places and they fly together and stuff. And they're buzzing around there. So that was pretty cool. I thought that was pretty neat. Excellent video, though. So check that out. It's pretty neat. Jim, how you doing, man? Oh, oh my. Keith, how you doing, man? Elon, he went to Greece. Went to Greece, and he got he got these. F4 Phantoms going through the mock loop in Greece. I'm telling you, he's got. They're so loud in there, man. If you you got you got stereo speakers on, and stuff, and and you listen, it's coming through, man. It it is got to be going close, close to Mach one, man. It's just flying through there, and the smoke, black smoke's just rolling out of it, and the big old seeing those big old F4 Phantoms going through the loop there. That that was just amazing. I can see why it's already up to 95,000 views, man. It is just, it is just amazing. Let's see. Yeah, totally unexpected. <laughs> I said the F4s is, is incredible. He <laughs> goes totally unexpected, you know. So, yeah, I guess when you climb up, climb, climb the mountains, but you travel to Greece to get that stuff, man. And I thought that was pretty, pretty impressive. But if you like jets, and if you like F4s, who doesn't like an F4, man? There you can see it, man. It's just, oh, it's just amazing, man. It is beyond. I, I'm still excited from watching. I've watched it like three times, that video. At least three times. Probably more than three times. All right. And welcome back. To and here we go. We got Cliff. Cliff doing his hangar stuff. 
is me to put the part two of rob's beach craft 11 twin engine build and rob's with me here and i can see on he looks like that one actor i can't remember the actor's name though but he's in he's in a lot of a lot of movies and, and things uh gosh i can't think of the guy's name but especially the thumbnail it looks like it on the bench he's made some really good progress on the wing uh, so rob how's it all going pretty awful really but uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not not uh, jet, the, the aeroplane I'm talking about, not the weather. <laughs> well, we, yeah, as you say, we've uh, we've made some progress. The okay. wings, the wings are now joined. Uh, I've got the motor bearers in, and I've been uh, going through a, a bit of a swear. It's about 100 watt. On. Rob's funny, man. He he comes up with some good sayings. But there's the wings for his beach. He's making a beach 18. Well, I'll say beach 18. Yeah, it's pretty cool, man. The nacelles are going to go right in there. And he's talking about, you know, the new soldering wire, how it's not all that good and stuff. And it's just a good, it's a good video. And he's getting ready to put the, put the flaps. I don't know if he's going to do flaps or not. I can't remember, but they just go over it. And let's see. And then he looks at the fuse right here. He talks about the fuse and what he's got there. Do on, how you doing, man? Wow, that's pretty cool. See, that's Duong. That's that's you know that's what I'm saying, man. The 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 um, rids aren't all bad. You know, you get to see some cool stuff without having to you know because they're about the same price or cheaper than a GPS model. They weigh a lot less. Anyway, check it out, man. Cliff Cliff does those uh, meets, and then he did a thing on how to tissue wings and stuff. I haven't watched that yet, but I'm sure it's good. Um, I've been busy been running errands and stuff but check out cliff man then we got mark her other builder extraordinaire and i've actually done some prep work to get busy on the wings i don't know how i don't know i'm i'm i looked at the looked at the instructions and they don't make sense they don't, just don't make sense but i'm just going to start Cutting and gluing, man. Cutting and gluing, and make we'll make it we'll make it work somehow. Anyway, he talks through hey, about putting welcome power. Welcome back to the building of the Svensson Jungmeister. It's time now to get the radio gear finally installed and the power unit, which is a DLE uh, 20cc petrol engine, which is all new to me. So I'm going to take you through what I'm going to do. The main servos are installed. There's the receiver with the satellite receiver. Uh, let's just turn things on. Uh, there we go. But this, this here is a kill switch. It's an electronic kill switch. And it has an LED light so that, you know, like if your, th your throttle servo quits working on you and sticks in the, you know, like three quarters gas or, you know, on instead of, you know, flying the plane around waiting for it to run out of gas. He's got an electronic kill switch where he can kill the ignition to the motor and then bring it down. I think that's a good idea on a gas plane. Yeah, because I never thought of that because, you know, how servos, they, they can go bad and stuff. But, you know. He's just doing, he explains how he sets that up, and uh, it's really pretty amazing, you know, how he figured out how to um, attach the motor to the front the front of the Jugmeister, and how he set it up and everything is pretty cool. And this is was a, this wasn't a laser cut kit. This was a kit where you had to fabricate, you know, everything, and it's just an amazing build. We've watched it before, but check it out. Check how he did the power and everything. And then let's see, boom. There's the switch. There, there it is installed. So if the ignition is on, you got the bright light. And if it's off, you don't have the bright light. But it's pretty cool how he gets to that. It's definitely worth checking out. And we got this guy right here, man, Philip. I saw Philip in there. Hi, Philip. He's here. But 
you know, Casey, Casey hadn't noticed, you know, he's got a, he's, he has a few guitars, man. That's, he's going to have to get rid of some of them guitars to get planes in there and stuff. And uh, let's see. And I got this queued up right here and it's, I passed his, he has some pretty good guitar playing in there. In fact, I'm going to, I'll kill this. Let's see. We'll go back here just so you can show you, but he plays some riffs for you and stuff. And it's pretty cool. So I don't know. He might he might take this musician stuff a little too serious. You know, he might take it seriously. That's for sure. But check it out, man. And welcome to the Philip Cockham Channel viewers. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. It helps this channel grow and helps me bring you these great videos that we all love. So we've got a UMX Citation Longitude today. This is a <laughs> twin EDF motored jet. Now see, now see this right. this this is now, a bigger jet, but it's you know that a, one's a UMX seven hundred millimeter jet. wingspan on this one. Up in the air, a little over. But he has a good flight, and he does a good job of keeping it in close, so you can see it. And he has a, I mean, he has a landing. You, you gotta you gotta watch it just so you can see this greasy landing. I mean, it's just amazing that he gets it in there so well and stuff. It's it's good. So check that out. And again, all the all the links are in the description. Ah, we got OG's RC, and he's got out some flying and stuff, man. That's pretty cool, man. Let's see. We got to go to the videos because he's he's got the funky stuff, and this is the one I wanted to show. Yeah, and he's got he's got music too. Let's see. I got I got to kick this first. There we go. Oops. Got the Viking 90. Or the Piper 90. Viking. Flat off. Not the best grass surface there. Yeah, that's the it's a double edged sword. It burns on the first board. Does the uh, I mess that up on mine sometimes. It was a really good landing in this video. Oops, I didn't do that. A great flight. That Viper 90 is on sale, man. It's 100 bucks off. You want to buy two, three to get shipping? And he just he did a good job landing that. He just drilled it, drilled it in there. And our buddy Tom. Rebuild, 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 rebuild. That's not good, Paul, when you had to do a rebuild. What you're doing is you're making enhancements. You're not rebuilding it. You're make, doing P51 enhancements. <laughs> I never say rebuild or repair. It's enhancements. Um, I'm making enhancements. Okay. Hey, everybody. Flying today on a really windy day with the OMP 55-inch Teflon. How it goes. I'm going to go down a lot. If I don't have the wheels pants, I've got push cool. tires. That's better. But he's got a, he does a real good flight and it's really windy, man. And he just he just uh let's see, that's the go around. He did a really nice go around. And then there he's coming in for the landing. But you're gonna have to buy the ticket, click the link to to see it. And he does a real makes a nice choice of a go around. And brings it in really nice and smooth. For considering the wind, because that is not a stall plane. You do not want to fly it like a stall plane. That's what I have to remind myself, man. I keep thinking, oh, I can stall it in. No, you can't stall it in. S same with the little E flight one. You just can't do it. Travis had some good videos too, man. I thought I had some of yours this week, but I just didn't didn't have it. 
<laughs> so it'll fly better. So it'll fly better. It's not gonna. You're not fly again. Come on, you know. You got to think positive, man. You're you're making enhancements. Yeah, I had some enhancements on a few planes I had to do this week, some maintenance and stuff, but um, involved a little umpour. But ah, you just put this up. Ah, because I was going to show that um, he was gifted a um, F-22, but Mini you got to fly at the beach. We'll watch this. All right, man. They got him. They have him out at the beach flying, man. Let's see. I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna put it in, and I'll watch it. Is that that life? That that um that group is is blank right now. Well, uh, that's a hard question. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Well, I, you know, I mean, they keep, they're always going to make, you got to, you got to realize they're always going to make more planes and you've got, you've got, um, you know, basically warbirds fly like warbirds. I mean, they all fly a little different. High wing planes fly like high wing, you know, cub, I'm talking cubs and, Cub variants like the mall, the beaver, and things like that. They all fly similar in the in the timbers. And, you know, not all jets fly the same, but you know, like Warbur jets and sports jets, they're kind of in the same familiar family. So I just I I used to buy almost every new plane that came out, you know, and then I would trade it and sell it and stuff and um you know it's like one of my buddies says like jeff you're never going to learn that you're never going to learn how to fly a plane you only fly it three four times you get rid of it and stuff it takes more, more than that to master it you know and i got thinking about that and you know and like everything else you know those guys told me that you know it was it was good advice and it, it rings true you know so that's kind of how i look at it now but Fred, the Fred Baron man, he he does some great stuff here, flying, and he's just uh, he's great for the RC community. And he got out and he did some crawling. And this we got it killed. We got it killed. There we go. Get some good music. And he does some crawling. Yeah, I don't. I've never taped them on. Never tape. Never. I always use a, a little foam tack or umpour or hot glue. Even well, hot glue, they get they get kind of warm, but. But if it doesn't come, the only gyros I have are binding flies, because I don't I don't put gyros in planes. But check him out, man. Fred has some. He does some great videos. He does some great flying too. It's just it's been in Iowa. It's been so windy. But he goes up and flies and stuff. So good flies, good flies, good flying, good flying up at the school. So check check out Fred. And then he's got he's got this as his crawler channel. And he's got the same video here. I think it's different music though. 
Ooh, we were quick on that. It's funny, I had eight seconds of the last live stream. I had eight seconds. There was eight seconds that someone copyrighted. <laughs> I don't know if it was from, it was from somebody's intro. <laughs> I was like, no, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> anyway, it's another crawling video. It's the same video, actually. But if you want to check it out, you know, support Fred. Fred does a lot of cool things. Helps people out. Watches Monday night. Monday night, um, real flight on the, on the Fred Barron channel. So if you got real flight, you want to join us, come in there and have a good old time. It, it starts around oh eight thirty to nine on Central Central Standard Time, uh, depending on you know work and kids and stuff. Yeah, you don't you don't have to have a a hundred. Lipo batteries. I mean, you know, I've got, I've got way too, I've been getting rid of some old ones and stuff and I I'll cycle them. I'll put them up, you know, I'll charge them for maybe two minutes and then put them back at storage and stuff. And, you know, like any kind of bad battery I get rid of that. I mean, I used to take out, you know, maybe 15, 16 batteries and fly them. You know, and then come home and put them at storage. But now, you know, I've maybe taken 10 or so. It just depends. You know, it depends on how I feel. And But I can go fly every day, you know. So I don't I don't try to fly um, volume anymore. I try to fly quantity. But, yeah, shoot. You, you know, I mean, you can get a, a DC charger and charge them on your car if you, if you need to and stuff. I got all kinds of buddies that would do that. They would, um, you know, they would just charge right off their car. All right, what do we got here? You say, why do we got John? This is John VHRC, and this is his channel. And what I want to show here is this, because I don't know. We got cats. To the that watch Check it out what we have here. As you know from the picture, yes, we have this cat window uh, what's it say on here? Pad <laughs> or seat or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I seen it was kind of on sale, so I went and got it. My wife's been wanting one for a while, so I'm going you know, to surprise her with it and get it set up for her cats. So it says it sets up in seconds, pulls up to 40 pounds. It's washable, which is good. Guaranteed for itself. And then it has right, a... So uh, get up here. We're just going to go through here. So you push those together, put the end on one or not, but you... And then we'll come up here. Here's the test. John has the links in there if you want to get it. We'll watch a little bit of the test here. It's up there, and then I pulled these up here, put a little tension on it so that it wasn't laying off all goofy. <laughs> we got one coming to check it out already. <laughs> She's like, what is this? And she finally goes in there. We have a cat that found the bed and seems to. I think she claimed it. And then, then he raised it up higher and she she's enjoying it. So that, that looks that was a pretty good deal. And Kitty's enjoying it. I love it. She's very content with this. Jumps up and down. <laughs> That's pretty good, though. I can see cats liking that because they like sitting up high and they like looking out the window. So uh, there we go. There we go, Gracie. There's, there's, there's for the kitties and the cat lovers. But John does. Hell you know. yeah, brother! You're on the Please Me Frog YouTube channel. All right. Now, why would I put this up here? Cletus McFarlane. Yeah, he needs a lot of help. Yeah. <clears throat> but he was out. Let's see. Let's go to the. Where's the videos at? Yeah, somebody with almost four million. But he was out there doing this RC planes, and he's got he's got Jace Dursey or Dursey, the famous 3D flyer, is there with him and stuff. In fact, let's bring this up. We'll stop it right there, and then there he there he is standing there and stuff, and he helps them out with their planes and stuff, 
and it's pretty cool. That's easy to do. <laughs> yeah, but I've I've done I've I've fished, I've boated, I've motorcycled, I've golfed, and everything. And uh, you know, RC is cheaper, I think, and stuff. But let's see what what what's Eric got here. Ah. Ah, that's nice, EQ. But I tell you what, man, this video, I mean, he does some amazing, absolutely amazing flying. And this, this is his plane, but he fly he flies um, Cletus's plane. And when he lands Cletus's plane, when he lands this plane right here, every bolt, he's, it's missing. One wing is held on by like one bolt is just barely screwed in. And it is it is worth seeing this video just to watch him fly. And he was so amazed, you know, it's, it's you know, because I guess they didn't use any kind of Loctite on any of the bolts or anything or any of the glue. Hey, man, how you doing, man? I've had your videos before. I almost had some, almost had some today. But I just kind of kept it kind of short and stuff. But it's worth checking out. I mean, it's an hour, but I tell you, it goes by so fast you don't even realize that you watched an hour. But yeah, AMRC, man, he puts out some nice stuff. You really do, sir. Do a good job. Do a good job. Speaking of good jobs, here we got we got Jackson RC. And I like Jackson RC. He's always out there doing stuff. And let's see what. Where's the video that we're going to look at? Oh, here it is, the UMX Timber Flight. That's so right, Jackson with Mason again at Jackson RC Aviation. Today we are looking at the E-Flight UMX Timber X. Optional floats. A stall micro 3D airplane. Intermediate pilots, not for beginners. Isn't that right? All right, so what's in the box? It's a little windy, a little windy today. A little windy. That's how it's set up in there. Let's see, and it takes a while to get things uh, set up. Taped up a little. Yeah, taped. Here. You need these? No, I think they had some problems getting it to set up because of the wind. Because of the wind. Because of the wind. Mason has a great flight, man. He does several landings and everything. He does a really good job. And Chris does a pretty good job of video. And I like the banter between father and son. Speaking of banter, here we have Musky Bob. And he's out there. He's out Eagle River. $500 worth of stuff over the lake. <laughs> Take a chance, what the heck? Man, how they could buy it such a non-windy day. Yeah, there's a little pond he flies by, flies by and fishes out there and picks up stones. Hey, Musky Bob here. Hey, been watching the weather. I got a couple other airplanes to fly. Getting out as early as I can. We're at Eagle River in the Keweenaw. Getting out before the tourists, before all the uh, nice. Wow, nice. <laughs> before all the <laughs> anyway, Bob has a great flight, man. So you need to check it out. And he tells you they, they go out there and they pick up rocks. I forget, I forget how many ingots or something. I don't know some rocks that are worth money, I guess. But they're out there picking them up. I don't know if they make jewelry out of them and stuff or luck, tr luck trinkets. I don't think he makes luck trink luck luck trinkets but uh let's see yeah getting ready yeah okay yeah <laughs> bob thanks <laughs> but he always has fun when he goes out there and i don't think he put it in well 
Yeah, he had, he had an interesting landing. As calm as the, the pond was, he could have float flew it today and stuff. But um, if you guys got anything you want to stick in the show, man, you just drop the links in there. You know, if you want if you want stickers, um, I got my email address in there, and I'll send you some. But yeah, look, Chris and Lori, they got out. They got out and they flew this. All right, I am too. Yeah. This goes really well. It must have been a warm day. I didn't see the I didn't see the box. Hey, Fred, man, we showed we showed some guy, some people, guys crawling video and, and your video. Like it looks like he copied your video, man. He like copied a barren video. Man. So we're gonna have to get the uh, get the uh, YouTube YouTube uh, tough squad out there to to work them over. But they have a great flight, man. They get out there, they do stuff, and he's got he's got his. Uh, let me see. He's got his B twenty five. Looks like it's all ready. And he's got decals on it and stuff, and he put the shiny stuff on it, and it's all ready. Oh wow, man! Yeah, that that is a warm day. <laughs> In that wind, I'd have had my winter coat on in that wind. I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> I'm not ashamed to say it would have been winter coat time. Oh, I have a winter coat too. I mean, hey, Greg, how you doing, buddy? It's good to see you, man. If we ever get out of this windy season, you know, I'm sure you're right. You're biting at the bit to go fly. We missed you at the the real flight, and I hadn't seen you fly in for. A couple Mondays, but hope you're doing well and everything. Randy BRC, though, they're out there. They're going to do an eclipse thing. They're out there flying. Wind. I don't want to show this. I'm going to back it up. I guess it started that way, so we're back here. But check him out, man. Him and his buddies, they get together and fly. Oh, they're a tip to save me from having to go out and get it. Him and his buddy, they get together and they have a good time flying. Right, man. Let's check him out. He goes out there with their, the granddaughters and stuff, and they watch him. And I don't know. They have a good time. We got this guy, John Nunes, Arizona. Flies at almost a mile high, 4,000 4, some feet of altitude. And <clears throat> what he has here is the flanker SU 27. It's like 339 from Banana Hobby. It looks like a pretty good jet. Except for I'm, I'm not buying it. All right, I want to do that. Today, maiden day for the Fly Fans SU-27. Now we... yeah, he tells you about how he sets it up and everything. And let's see, let's go out here. About right here, that's too soon. Or... Good. Here. All right. Let's we'll watch him take off. Yeah, yeah, he has a really, really good video. It tells you about his CG. It's a true maiden. I like the looks of the SUs. I saw some Russian jets in person. Ooh, that's not good. But anyway, he has a good maiden, and he does does some nice landings. And he comes in. He tells you about the CG, where he puts his battery and stuff, and um, he gets it figured out, man. Yeah. But John does a good job, man. 
Good job flying. I don't know if Banana Hobby, if he's getting planes from him or what, but um, it's pretty cool. And we got my buddy Larry down here, Pensacola Beach, keeping things real. And wow, that's the wind screaming, whistling. Man. Hey Rick, how you doing, man? As air, as air three two five is Rick. Man, need to get the turkeys off the field so you guys can go fly. Anyway, though, man, um, <clears throat> what's he got going here? The oh, the Max Slash. He, he put about 80 bucks worth of parts on it, and he's got it running really well now. You know, so he's happy with the $800 Traxxas truck. We had another almost 100 to it. But we're going to watch him fly a little the bit. The good stuff right there. You know what else is? Let's see. So I don't need. I don't. See, have... I wanted to show. But he figured I... out how you can adjust the plane, the T720. Um, so. Dancing wings. There it is. It's flashing. Ours wasn't total. It was it was about there was about this like a a little sliver, like a they said eighty percent sliver. It was pretty right neat. joystick left and right. But you can adjust the you adjust can adjust the, the trim it in in the ra in the radio right there. Oh, let's see where is it at. Man? Step to adjust the tail wing. Press the right joystick three times. So there it is um, to adjust the tail wing. Tail wing can be adjusted a little. I was gonna pull it. Uh, next up. Oh well. Just anyway, he adjusts. Can be adjusted he gets it adjusted. Upward. He's got to come back and adjust it some more, and so, then and boom, he gets ready. A lot better now. See, it's more straight before it was. All yeah, right. Totally I think, the straight man, I think we would have crashed if we would try to take off like that. Look at the wind coming this direction. It look, you could see it was still still Ooh, It's been down. a hot minute since I've flown. Oh, ah. <laughs> Still needed to do some adjusting there, but he, he's got it now. He's got it. He's got it. So then he goes back out. Little Chevy Cruze is not a bad little car. I think it's we got, got it. Now. Full seats fold down. He can haul a lot of RC stuff in the back of that thing. Really surprised me. There he goes. He gets it up and he has a good flight. But it's just good that you can adjust it. You know, on the OMP T720, you just got to look it up online. And it's a series of stick movements that makes you so you can adjust it. Yeah, Larry and I, we need to get together and fly. Oh, I just closed something up. I just closed somebody else up. Uh oh. Oh, well. I'll go find out who it was. I'll find him. No worries to worry. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's why I don't. Of course, I got, you know, I rotate through my planes. You know, I fly them. And then if I don't, don't fall. Yeah, see, that's us. I used to think too, but now I just take maybe, I'll take maybe four planes at the most. Sometimes five if they're all, if I got a bunch of little ones, and then I'll just fly. Uh oh, I better pick my. I dropped my earbud. I better pick it up. Tuco will think it's a peanut. <laughs> He'll be like, mm, "That's pretty good, pretty good peanut." But anyway, he's out here. At, he talks. He doesn't have sound on this video. Dude. He's got a good flight, good throw. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's true. He has a good flight, man. He makes that thing look nice. I think it's the X fly. He's got the battery. He's got he's. There we go. There we go. I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm back. I got it fixed. <laughs> ah. Ah. Yeah, those, exactly, Eric. Those are good. Those are good ones, man. The P47, like the E flight. I like the E flight P47, but the Dynam's, Dynam's making planes again. And they're selling stuff online, free shipping in the U.S., and the prices aren't bad either. They got a new website. I forget where I saw that at. I saw it. Um, golly, man. I saw. Yeah, Eric, you, you learned on Warbirds, buddy. You, you, you started off the hard way. <laughs> you didn't start with a high wing trainer, man. But those few videos that you had, you, you were doing all right. It looked like a typical learning experience there. Okay, so I, I probably ha I had L to the W there. We didn't miss anyone. I just I just checked. I just went out and checked. I just wanted to make sure I didn't miss anybody's video that I had. But if anybody's got anything, yeah, shoot, man, I fly. You know, I mean, it's like. I could I could probably get by with like I don't know maybe five planes uh, Warbird it'd be tough to pick the the P fifty one or the Corsair or 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 the P forty seven and stuff and a big jet and a little jet yeah they are I said but let me see I don't let me see if I got the website still in my queue. Yeah, here they are right here. Here's their new web the website right now. Free shipping over 95 bucks. Cause I that was a good flying plane right there, man. Yeah, see I didn't learn with gyros and stuff, but you know, I mean, you know, I, I ain't gonna say anything bad about gyros and stuff, but you know, I mean everybody, you know, you you poo poo dine them, but you know, it's like, like you can get a P-47, which isn't a bad flying plane, uh, for $209. And their Corsair, that's a good plane. Even with, with the new landing gear, it's probably pretty reliable for 219 or a 50-inch wingspan plane. That, that Their Corsair flew great, man. I had, I had one, and I ended up trade selling it to somebody. Because I wanted the E flight Corsair. <clears throat> but that was the version one with the iffy landing gear and stuff. But I don't know. They're there and stuff. I'm just trying not to buy planes, you know. But heck, if you want a foamy Waco, you know, where are you going to get it? And their Stearmans here aren't too bad. If you want their Tiger Moth, I still have my Tiger Moth, my um, 
my um, yellow Waco, I wore it out. Yeah, Eric, it flies. It flies. It's a nice flyer. It's just the. Uh, I mean, it seems like it's more, to me. It's it's more work. Yeah. I fly on a rough field, man, and, and it, it does well. And what you can do, like the yellow one from E-Fly, it has wider tires on it because the, the original Park Zone one had narrow tires. And I bought a wider tire. I still got it. I still got it. I still fly the old you know red and white one. It's got a wide tire, and now the, the tire width is just a little wider than what's on the new yellow ones. But it does well on grass. Yeah, Terry, man, I, I miss it. I miss that Waco. And I was thinking of building one if I ever get these kits built. But it's that was a great flying plane, man. A 2600 battery, a four cell battery in it was perfect. It was just perfection. Like I said, I wore mine out. Oh, yeah, we had a cat perch. You got that right. Yep, Fred, we sure did, man. It was great too, man. Yep, John VHRC. He he, he posted one on his um, uh, life video. It's it's in the the his link is in the description. That thing looks pretty good, man. Yeah, you know how cats cats just love to sit up on stuff, man. Like Tuco, he, our our window seals are pretty low. So he can he can lie there in his bed and put his chin on the on the windowsill and watch for squirrels and birds and occasional rabbit in the backyard. But he's like Wiley E. Coyote, you know he's never gonna he's never gonna come close to catching anything. But that doesn't mean he doesn't try. You know I think he's even got some Acme tricks that he that he you know he bought some Acme um, squirrel and rabbit catching tricks that he tries to bust on him and stuff. I mowed the field today. It was windy. I had, I had, you know, my hat's got a chin strap, so I had that all strap. I was choking. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was like choking, man. In fact, let's let me see. Let me see. Go out here. Let's go. Let's go down here. Some stuff, but yeah, I thought they were. I didn't think they were gonna release the. That was kind of a. I don't know. I, I was surprised to see the little UMX F eighty six. That's pretty cool, though. But I didn't even bother to charge a battery. I tried to go out and fly the other day. I was going to go fly, and then, you know, I put I put four batteries on the charger and then went out to, you know, put planes in the car, and it was so windy. I, I just came right in and shut them down and um, put, them, put them on... Um, Put them on the FX2000 and um, storage charged them right back. And, you know, only took a few minutes to get them back to storage charge. And then I was like, I just was dumb, man. All right, let's see. Open this in a new tab. And let's see. And we got one more video. Uh, I'm gonna I want to show two more videos here. Where's he at, man? Man, I hate the way they, I would like to be able to, if I could put my almost 600 subs that I'm sub there. Yeah, that's that's curious. That's a good question, man, because that's one thing, one thing that kind of kind of bewilders me is that you've got now you got three adapters, you have three adapters, three adapters for UMX planes. You got the white one. I don't know what they call it. The XT, HT. You know, you got the JST, and now you got their EC2, you know. So that's like three different adapters, you know. Let's make up our mind, you know. And I don't like the EC2s because they t they're they big. They're bigger. They big, they're big, and they weigh more. But imagine four cells on the on the JSTs. It might be it might be a little hot for those wires and the soldering on, on those small connectors. So they got to beef it up. But... 
I don't know, it's like make up my mind, you know, because then you got to buy all these adapters. You know, it's like pick something, you know. Yeah, the XTs, yeah. I like XTs, but, you know, I don't, I don't know. I just don't, I don't get, a, I've got adapters, so I don't get wound up about it. Because I thought about making everything, you know, but, you know, if I can buy, if I can buy, you know, EC, EC5s, I'll buy them, or EC3s, I'll buy them. But if I have to get the XTs, that's not a problem. I just want dings I I won't. I won't go to go back to Deans at all. I hated Deans. They spark. They arc. They sort of the EC5s and the IC3s, the IC5s and IC3s, ECs. Still, they spark too. You know, they're 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 sparkers. They're not as bad as as. You know, they still they still do. It's like when I plug them in, and get the, get the, uh, bam, get the zap the spark going it it freaks me out every time man all right let's see if i can find it this way yeah Oh, well, let's go back out here. Let's go here. Yep, Fred Bear and Monday night. Monday, 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 Monday. And we got the boogeyman here. It's pretty cool, man. He he, he races he races stock cars. And he, he, he's got a video out here from the other night. He actually gets up. He's not in the back. He gets he gets makes up there pretty well. And stuff. And he's got the race there. It's pretty good. So he he does the uh, FPV racing, RC racing, and there's there there's his uh, driver. His driver actually moves around and stuff. You see his hands. And it's funny. He gets spun out here at the end. Let's see, where does it happen? About right here. Uh, here we go. He's trying to start his car. Yeah. <laughs> you hear people screaming. They're screaming that he's his car is on fire. <laughs> It was just an unburned fuel in the header, but flame shooting out the side of his car. <laughs> he just looked. He finally, he's like, "Watch out! Watch how quick he gets out." <laughs> but he he's got an eject for his pilot, man. That's pretty cool. But nah. So <laughs> your car's on fire. You're on fire. But if you ever seen, you know, like you know, race cars and stuff, when the unburnt fuel comes down through the headers and stuff, and it catches on fire and it really shoots flames out out through the um because it's routed down under the body exhaust and stuff man so that's pretty bad anyway man and thanks everybody for coming by um hope everybody can get out and fly i miss my sailboat i'll say that but um you know get out and fly kenny's coming up so get in there hey keith how you doing buddy yeah it's blowing the wind is blowing so bad right now man it's just like it's in fact, uh, we're, we're, we no longer have the same address. That's how strong the wind's been blowing the last couple of days here. 
we've blown over everybody everybody shifted left one address but um take care everybody have fun uh, be safe be safe with your batteries be safe and everything we'll see you on kenny hanger 51 he's coming up next and i'm sure he has all kinds of great things i'm sure man he's probably ordered that horizon the horizon f86 and um, he's probably got three of them coming so take care be safe uh kate steph marcia gracie and if you enjoy the cat stuff if you have cats that that, that little uh, windows windowsill bed for cats that john um dh um showed there looks like a good one but we'll see y'all thank you everybody so much this is jeff saying woo, 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 woo. and that's not a rebel yell that's from wrestling man that's from watching black and white wrestling on the three channel tv you know back in the 60s so we'll see y'all good night thank you